Okay, I want to go over real quick what I've been working on on the Z80 interrupts. Uh, interrupt mode one and interrupt mode two. And just uh, briefly, I'll show you here. I have uh, my editor uh, shell window um, logged into my Beagle Bone over here. Uh, my I two C squared uh, parallel interface chips going through a 40 pin connector. This is all stuff I salvaged uh, from a PC board. These are old uh, hard drive ribbon cables. You have the Z80 motherboard here with the processor RAM and the PIO oscillator and logic. My breadboard, uh, the power supply for the video display, negative bias, the display, which now you can pick up for five dollars from all electronics, which is not a bad deal. And you have the switches I use to control the program. Let's go into our screen. And I'm doing this on the fly, so no editing. Just to show you what I've been doing. This is a rainy day, so and my day off, so inside doing a little playing around. And just showing I'm doing my interrupt one test. And you see every time I hit the button, it causes the interrupt, and I get interrupt. Now let's make press my first button. And I'll switch this to our second test. I press my first button, I mean second button, and I make an interrupt on port A. Then I hit the third button, interrupt on port B. And I hit A again, B again. Go through the checks out. So so now we have a working interrupt routine. Uh, it could be adapted for any PIO configuration. Just plug in the addresses of the PIO and you're set to go. This is what done with the uh, Z88DK compiler using the uh, SDCC C, C compiler, small device C compiler, um, which I like the how it is more ANSI C compatible versus the Z88DK's version. So you get that you can mix the two together and get a little best of both worlds. So. This is a little test of from uh, Lazy Afternoon. No editing raw live into you.